You are truly the hero the legends foretold. So brave and handsome. Though perhaps not in the classical sense. What? Ha! You must have many questions for me. Take your time. So these, uh, legends about me, what are they? I mean, I know a few already, but, uh, this one might be new. You don't know? Oh, how unexpected! I have been waiting for you all this time. The moment you touched the forge, I knew you were the Celestial One, that you could free me. So I reached out to you the only way I could, through your memories. The ones most vivid to you. But you must understand, I had no control over them. I was only trying to communicate. I... Oh no, that is not what I wanted at all. I am so sorry. I truly did not know you'd feel so violated. I'd hoped you would feel glad to see her again. I did not mean for my abilities to hurt you. Though you are offended. How could you possibly know how he feels? I can show you, angry lady. Oh. No. Never mind. May I show you? Please, I mean no harm. Watch. Star-Lord Baby is filled with worry. About you. He likes... when you hit people. Is that right? Hey! Stop! Okay, what's inside me is for me and me alone to stress out about, okay? Oh no. He's getting flustered. Did I say the wrong thing? It's been a long time since I've communicated with anyone. And people can be so... Complicated. Oh, come on, Mandis. <laughs> You're embarrassed of me. It is nothing to feel embarrassed about. In fact, your friend here uh -uh. feels... We're not doing that. You see, I am an empath. I can read the emotions of others. It is my duty to help the Celestial One decide the fate of the Forge. Sounds important. <laughs> and introducing her to the others might be... <laughs> really fun. Who should we try on first? I got just the one. Uh, something's supposed to be happening here? This furry little creature is... Full of anger. Yeah, cause Quill's a prick who only cares about but him. But beneath that, he is unfathomably sad. Hey! Now he is scared and angry. Hey, cut it out! What is this, Quill? What's the bug lady doing to me? Mantis is an empath, Rocket. She can sense your emotions. She's also the one who made us relive our memories. That was you? We went halfway across the galaxy, got chased by that psycho holla for a party trip? It is my job to guide the Celestial One. What the hell does that mean? The Celestial One? You messed with our minds. Why? I am Groot. She knows about the Eternity Forge. She says she's connected to it. That's supposed to make me less confused? Oh, I can explain. Long ago... Wait, wait, wait. Are you gonna spew some long mumbo-jumbo about where you come from and why I should care? Yes. Is that a problem? Remember Thanos? Going on like, now that I got this, I'm gonna roll through the galaxy like a giant turd and blah, blah, blah. The answer is magic. It's always magic. And that is good enough for me. Her story might be important. Skip to the good stuff. Oh... I have not spoken to anyone in so long. I was hoping someone would chop, want to chop. listen. You heard the man. Get to the goods. There is a legend of the Celestial One. The Chosen One who shall arrive from the stars to use the Eternity Forge. This Celestial One. 
What are they like? Advanced intellect. Emotionally mature. Wise being capable of navigating the dark waters of immense power. Someone who can see beyond his own selfish desires. To choose for the greater good. Yeah, I think you got the wrong guy here. I'm just a kid from Earth. It does not matter where you were born. It only matters what you do. You are the Celestial One, Peter. Oh, you're so full of crap, lady. If Pete is this Celestial What's-It, then why didn't the stupid forge work? Sure, it brought him back. But when we tried to use it again on... someone else, it didn't do a damn thing. Your loss... I can feel it has been with you for some time. The forge is... limited right now. It can only restore life to a body that is mostly whole and... undeteriorated. <sighs> I... am Groot. Doesn't seem all that useful to me. It can become more useful. How? The Celestial One must deliver the forge to the Sacred Shrine. There you can unlock its true power or destroy it forever. And that true power is what? Returning anyone, from any time period, back to the realm of the living. Lost ones, loved ones, I suppose hated ones too, if you were so inclined, though I do not know why. That seems ill-advised, but it is Peter's decision to make. Why would I destroy the forge? This thing sounds awesome. <coughs> Holla! <clears throat> its awesomeness comes with a price. Life energy cannot be made. It must be transferred. So someone still has to die for the thing to work. Then let's finish our drinks and go use this thing. Yes! Really? Who are you planning to kill? Well, you're kind of annoying me right now. Holla wants to use this forge to raise her army. We have to destroy Not it. until my family is returned I to me. I am Groot. Right? Groot says he's on my side. That's three to one, Gamora. We win. That is not true. Groot feels the opposite. Uh, I mean, maybe something got lost in translation. Hey, hey, you try understanding I am Groot all the time. Those three words can mean anything. Don't look at me like that. Okay, not cool, man. Don't lie to us. I'm sorry, I just don't want that thing destroyed until we use it. Oh, and lying to you, that was a one-time thing. I am Groot? Okay, a two-time thing. So, it is a tie then. Two for using it. I am Groot. I'm gonna take a guess. He said two for destroying it. Don't you get what this means? We can bring back anyone that we lost. At a cost. No cost is too high. Well, right now, I'm... I'm thinking we destroy it. Alla can't get her hands on this again. If she does, we're gonna all be speaking Cree. Or dead. <laughs> well, one way or another, this all ends at the shrine. Can you take us there, Mantis? I have never been. But with your help, I believe I can sense its location. May we have some space to concentrate? Gladly. If anyone needs me, I'll be emotionally unavailable. And that's new. Ha ha ha. You have extraordinarily soft hands. <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> was there moisturizer built into that tomb thingy? There was not. <laughs> really? Huh. Well, I guess it's because, uh... Please, stop talking. Okay. Yep, not talking. I cannot sense the shrine. There is so much unrest among your crew. Their emotions are overwhelming me. They look to you for guidance. Help them. Hey there, Groot. Oh. Is that a friend of yours? I am Groot. I'll tell you this. We're all gonna be okay. No matter what happens with the Forge. I am Groot. Hey 
Hey, bud, what's up? Go away. I am Groot. What? You heard me. Oh, I can't believe how selfish you're being. First, you broke your promise about going to Half World with me. Because you were more worried about that Nimrod Nebula. You know, because why would I factor into any of your decisions? I went to Half World just a little later than you wanted. I am Groot. Now, now you're thinking of destroying that thing? When we know what it can do? When you know what it means to me? We have to destroy it, Rocket. You know we do. You know what, Pete? I wish the Forge had never brought you back. Yeah. I am Groot. It should have brought someone else. Anyone else back instead. Better than your worthless hide. I am Groot. You're right. You're right. I deserve that. I'm sorry, Pete. Come on. Come on. Ha have a drink with me. Alcohol? cleans all sorts of wounds. Whether your friend stabs you in the back, literally or metaphorically. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, P. You know, you know what you, you know what you... Well, that's one way to deal with emotions. I am brute. Drax, how are you doing? I am... distraught. The Forge can bring my family back, yet you consider destroying it. Well, I... You are our leader, and it is your decision. So I must trust you would not take away my chance to reunite with my wife and daughter. Even though you did not trust me to guard Nebula. Well, that... And you did not behave in a trustworthy manner just now. Huh? You used that antenna woman's powers without permission. It was wrong of you to do that. Rocket was clearly angered by what that woman said about his emotions. Come on, it wasn't that bad. Was it? Our feelings are our own. They belong to us alone. I just wanted to get to know everyone better. We're also secretive. We should... we should open up more. Secrets should be shared willingly, not stolen. Whoa. That was, uh... That was really deep, Drax. Her ability to see into our emotions. It must be difficult. I would not wish to know the pain of others as well as my own. Thank you for checking in on me, Peter. You may leave now. Fine. 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 Hey, are you okay? The hell was that? I tried to say everything I could think of. I thought maybe if I asked her to stick around for a while, ugh, she won't hear it. Not from me. She'll barely even look at me. That's just who she is now. You need to accept that. I know. It was stupid to even talk to her. Nebula and I... There's no fixing that. We're better off apart. She can get on with her life, and I can get on with mine. I think you're right. She shouldn't stay with us. Let her go somewhere else. Anywhere else. As long as it's far from me. I'm done with her.
Any luck yet? I'm afraid not. Someone here remains very unsettled, emotionally. Um, hey, Nebula. Yeah, uh, hey, it's me, <laughs> Peter Quill. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, but you know that. You mind if I sit? Cool, yeah, this is, uh, this is really... How's the arm? Ah! That's for forcing me to give you the cipher. Well, you were pretty awful to us, too. I have every right to be awful to you. And especially to Gamora. Speaking of my dear sister, bet you got an earful. What'd she say about me? That I'm a waste of space. That I deserve everything I've been through. She says you're really pissing her off. Well, the feeling's mutual. I bet she forgot to mention how she ruined our family. How she destroyed my life. Yeah, well, that's not how it looked to me. What do you mean? When we were in the temple, I saw Gamora's memory of your last mission. Oh, yeah? What did you see? I saw you stab her and leave her to die. You have no idea what really happened that day. And neither does Gamora. Not all of it, at least. Then show me. Now, please take my hand. If this kills me, I'm going to kick your ass. Is everything all right? What's going on? I can't stand this place anymore. I can't stand him anymore. Nebula, come here. Nebula, my favorite daughter. Father. Your attacks against your sister were swift, precise. You disarmed Gamora easily. I was impressed. But I cheated, Father. I didn't win on my own merit. That was not cheating. Gamora made a mistake. You took advantage of that mistake. Something any skilled warrior would do. There is something you must know about Gamora. She has told me that she does not believe you are ready for this mission. That you never will be. Every day she grows more agitated and bitter as she watches you surpass her. You've seen her lack of respect. She disobeys me time and time again. I no longer trust her. You shouldn't trust her either, Nebula. Gamora has become a risk to our family. You can trust me, Father. No matter what. I know you will never disappoint me, Nebula. I caution you to be careful with your sister. That is all I ask. If she continues to be a problem, you might take her place. Stand by my side as my greatest warrior and only daughter. Gamora makes herself more useless, more unreliable with each passing day. Where she fails, you thrive. It would be an honor, Father. We shall see how things go on Phalian. This is your moment. Go and prepare. Keep your communications open. I'll be monitoring the situation.
Nebula! Nebula, are you alright? Are you hurt? Why? Why did you do that? What? I had him. That was my kill and you took it from me! I won't tell Thanos, I promise. We'll keep it to ourselves. Nebula. Father. If you want to gain the honor you desire, kill Gamora. <gasps> if you don't get rid of her, I will do it myself. Only I will ensure that your sister suffers greatly. Give me the device. Nebula, what are you doing? You took my kill. Give me the device in exchange. Give it to me, now! I'm not asking here. No, that's not how this works. I don't take orders from you. Then you leave me no choice. What are you- Is it done? What's going on? What are you making him see? It wasn't over! Ah, oh, man! Uh, we were just getting to the part where she, um... You know... What? The part where she kills you? I was trying to show him what really happened with Tarval. But of course, you interrupted us. This is between you and me. Like you haven't been telling him your side of the story. He came to me because he was sick of hearing about Whoa. it from you. She was always pushing against Thanos, testing his limits. What happened was her fault. Yeah. I practically shoved that knife into my own back. Too bad I had such terrible aim. Some assassin Gamora, you are. I wasn't trying to kill you. Oh yeah? Then what were you doing? Because it looked exactly like you were trying to kill me. She wanted to be Thanos' only daughter. She wanted to take your place by his side. She should be grateful. She never wanted what he gave her. I saved your life. Admit it. You just wanted to prove you were better than me by killing if me. If I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead. Thanos was going to kill you himself. There would have been nothing left of you. Do you know, I even checked your pulse just to make sure you were still alive. You never got to see that part. The most important part. But I did. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that's totally crazy. You expect us to believe that you stabbed your sister so she could live. Stop. I'm done with this. Peter's right. I want you out of my life. For good. Well, at least we're on the same page about that. Good. Good. I can't believe you just said you wanted me out of your life! You agreed with me! I did, but I wouldn't have said it! You made it very, very clear! Even if you haven't spoken the actual words! Oh yeah, words. you're really good at reading between the lines, especially when it comes to me! Well, I have to fill in the blanks, don't I? We've been a little out of touch since you killed me! Yeah, so I'm thinking we really need to part ways, Nebula. It's been... <laughs> Fun. Not really. At all. Where are you gonna go? <laughs> Nova Corps is gonna be all over you the minute you leave. I've got some ideas. Peter, I can finally sense the shrine. Okay. Let's go.